Today we're going to talk about five games that you need to be on the lookout for to trade in to GameStop for cash and in-store credit. Yes, there are games that you can actually get uh, at a decent price to trade in for a lot of value to GameStop and today we're going to talk about which ones to look out for. Stick around. What is up internet, Retro here, and yes, there are some games that you can find cheap and trade in for good value at GameStop for either cash or trade-in credit. Now I know we have all seen those memes that are like, traded my whole game collection into GameStop and got a dollar. Bruh. It is true, most of the time, GameStop is not a good place to trade in your games, but there are some games to look out for. So we're about to get into that list, but if you are new to the channel and you love all things retro video games, or video game related, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos because every single week we are coming out with new gaming related videos. Okay, so the collection that you guys see behind me, I have gotten primarily at garage sales, flea markets, Goodwills. I am a game hunter. I like to go find my games cheap and add them to the collection that way. So I'm about to give you a list of games that are not uh, necessarily the most money you're gonna get at GameStop because if you if you want those kinds of games, they're the, the Mario Parties, Mario Odysseys uh, for the Switch. They're the newer Switch games, um, the Pokemon games, you're gonna get about 30 to $33 in trading credit for those games. But the problem is they're new games, so you're not getting those games cheap. You're paying retail 40, 50 bucks. The games I wanna share with you are the ones that you can find potentially at secondhand stores cheap to trade in for a lot of value. So um, the first game, there's, they're not really in any particular order, um, but the first game is gonna be um, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. I'm gonna put them in together. Now they both trade in for a little bit different value. Uh, I have these all listed right here. So Wii Sports trades in for 1056 cash or uh, $13.20 in store credit, Wii Sports Resort is a little bit more, $13.20 and $16.50 in store credit. Now these prices do fluctuate right now uh, at the timing of this recording. This is what they're going for right now at GameStop. Um, but they always tend to be right around that price. Uh, and I find them all the time for a dollar, $2 uh, at secondhand stores. In fact, the majority of my uh, channel is game hunting. So I can show you some clips uh, while we are going through this list of games of me getting them for, you know, a dollar or two. Okay, the next game I'm gonna lump together as well is Mario Party 8 and Mario Party 9. So Mario Party 8 goes for 1760. Uh, cash and twenty-two dollars in store credit. Mario Party Nine is a little bit more at nineteen thirty-six cash and twenty-four dollars and twenty cents uh, in store credit. The next game we're gonna look at is New Super Mario Bros. Uh, I see this game all the time. Again, these are games that I'm seeing all the time because they mass produce these things. How many how many Wii Sports games are there? And most of the time when I go to garage sales and stuff and I ask for games. Most of the time, they're gonna bring out Wii games. So here is New Super Mario Bros, $11.44 cash, uh, $14.30 in value. The next game we're gonna look at is Mario Galaxy. I cannot tell you how many times I have found Mario Galaxy uh, at the thrift store. $13 cash, $16.50 in store credit. And the last game we're gonna look at is Mario Kart for the Wii. Now, obviously I have found this a lot. Here is four copies right here. And I think uh, in total right here, I spent $8 on these and this is about $90 in store credit because right now Mario Kart for the Wii is trading in for $22 uh, and then $18 in store credit. So that is amazing guys. And I'm telling you, I find these all the time. You have to think about it. The Wii is like almost 15 years old now. So, you know, the games are not new but they're not really old. It's like in the kind of in this weird season right now, um, but you do see them all the time at Goodwill uh, and garage sales. So those are the top five games that you need to be on the lookout for when you're out there hunting for games to trade into GameStop for good value. You guys tell me down below, what are some more games uh, that I need to be on the lookout for that other people need to know about to look out for uh, when you're out there hunting for games that trade in for pretty good credit 
and cash at GameStop. Guys, thank you for hanging out. Uh, if you would like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.